सो हेलो एवरी वन यू आर लिसनिंग टू कोमल टाया एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो गाइज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल राइट एंड दो सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल इट सेल्फ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू नो दैट यू कैन यू कैंट यू कैन नेवर अफोर्ड टू मेस एट वैन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी एग्जाम लाइक इवन फ्रॉम गेट एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड फ्रॉम दिस सी एस आर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी very important right so without delaying let's start uh, we are going to discuss yeah let, let me first tell you that we are going to discuss questions only in today's video the previous year questions only right so guys i am also going to cover physics questions also because you know that quantum is common in both physics and chemistry right so it becomes very important to cover that quantum portion little bit from physics part also because uh, most, most of you must be not be knowing that that lot of questions repeat in csr exam csr chemistry exam from physics csr exam right so it becomes very necessary very essential to cover up some physics part also some previous year. let's see physics uh, questions also because their level is little bit high so even if we uh, cover that uh, cover that portion so that we becomes exam ready from like if you are doing superposition principle you are doing physics question then you are ready that okay give me any question i can do it right so that is my approach for you guys that i always try to cover physics question also right so i also solved it when i was preparing for my exam right so now it's your turn right so without delaying so let's start in let's start our video clear so guys this question this question is csr december 2013 physics question the 16 question if you can see right so according to it let's read the statement so let's say n l m denote the eigen function for a spherical symmetric potential this right so guys this is the wave function which is given and according to it it is equal to 1 psi 200 0 plus 2 psi 210 0 plus root 2 psi 211 plus 3 psi 21 minus 1 clear so you must be knowing that these values which are written over here in subscript these are n l m right so this value is n this value is l and this value is m m clear and it is in the similar manner similar manner for other ones clear and now let's see what we need to find this is given right this is given in the question clear and uh, we need to find that what is the expectation value of energy lz of this electron in h cut will be approximately so guys uh, when i was uh, teaching you this superposition principle right right so i told you examiner can ask you average value or expectation value which are same only fine either he can ask you about this energy value expectation value of energy or l l square value clear same uh, energy or expectation value of l square or energy or expectation value lz only these like from these topics only the questions will be asked from you clear so this time examination examiner has asked about lz clear so you all must be knowing that what is the value of lz that is mh cut clear that is mh cut so let's see its solution that how to do such type of question clear so you all must be uh, you all must be remembering this thing that i told you that without like before starting this question before starting any question of superposition principle you need to check you need to check that whether c1 square plus c2 square is equal to 1 or not clear but here you can see there are four terms there are four terms it will be c1 clearly one is c1 two is c2 root two is c uh, c3 and three is c4 clear so now here we have to check whether this one c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square plus c4 square is equal to one or not guys for people who are new here this is the prime condition for checking for whatever question you are attempting in superposition principle whatever is asked you need to check it i'm guys i'm laying emphasis on this thing i guess from the last three video that you have to check, check it because even if i repeat it 100 times i know half of you will do the same mistake in the exam so guys please set this thing in your mind that you will always check c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square what how many states are given you 
you will take how that many coefficient square and you will equate you will check whether they are coming equal to one or not if they are not coming equal to one then i'll i'll tell you how to do that for people who are new clear so uh, let's see in this case also that will not come equal to one that's why i've taken this question clear so let's see let me just rub it first so that things become more clear fine so we'll see that how this question is different clear guys so this question is very interesting so let's have a look over it so what i'll do i will put this c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square plus c4 square is equal to 1 so what is c1 which is 1 so i will take 1 square and c2 square so that is 2 square plus c3 square that is root 2 square plus c4 square which is 3 right so i will take 3 square so guys when i'll add them when i'll add them so what i'll get i'll get the sum equal to 16 i'll get the sum equal to 16 you can check it will be 1 and 2 square will be 4 and root 2 square will be 2 and 3 square will be 9 so 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 4 15 15 plus 1 16 so this is not coming equal to 1 so if you have any value when you will be checking this condition that c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square plus c4 square depending on how many states are given here four states are given clear so you will take four coefficients clear so you have taken it and you got 16 value instead of 1 so what you will do whatever value now listen to me carefully whatever value you will get you will take inverse of that so okay i'm taking inverse that okay 16 is my answer so i will take its inverse so okay i have taken it then what i'll do i'll i'll take a under root guys to normalize it so guys this superposition principle underlies on this on this concept that psi will be always normalized for normalizing we always do this thing guys this is short shortcut that whatever value you will get after c1 square plus c2 square to how many states are given if it is not coming equal to one what you will do you will take inverse of that number which is coming so now i got 16 number so i'll take its inverse i will take under root of it that is square root and then i'll multiply this one by uh, one by 16 under root with this with this wave function given wave function and then i'll get a new wave, wave function so let's multiply this root one by 16 with this wave function so when i'll multiply it i'll get one by root 16 it will get one by root 16 side 200 plus 2 by root 16 here it was 2 so it got 2 by root 16 side 210 plus then plus root 2 was there so i will write here so when i'll be multiplying root 1 by 16 it will become root 2 by 16 side 211 plus it will become 3 by root 16 side 21 minus 1 so this is my new wave function this is my new normalized if like to be more precise this is new normalized wave function clear and according to this only we'll move according to this only we will calculate everything we need to calculate this lz right remember that remember that we need to calculate the expectation value of lz so we press we will proceed for this lz value for calculating this value according to this wave function not according to this one please please take care of this thing that whenever you are getting any number after applying this c1 square plus c2 square till how many states they are given if it is not coming equal to one you will put you will uh, make that number the inverse of that number you will take the reciprocal of that number you will just take a under root of it clear and then you will multiply it with the given wave function and you will make a new wave function according to that and that new function is now normalized clear and now only and from this point only we can proceed clear otherwise if you calculate from this old wave function the answer will be wrong and examiner knows examiner knows your weakness so he'll be giving you one of the options which is which you are getting from this old wave function and that will be at the first that will be uh, that will be put in put uh, put it uh, in the a part clear and you will be taking it off thinking that okay now i have done it now i have got four marks so that is not the case guys always check for this condition clear so this is done clear we have make this 
न्यू नॉर्मलाइज वे फंक्शन सो आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस एल जेड सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई टोल्ड यू इफ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू ऑफ एनी थिंग यू विल राइट पी वन हाउ मेनी कोफिशियंट्स आर गिवन सो सो दैट मैनी प्रॉबेबिलिटीज विल बी देर क्लियर सो देर आर फोर स्टेट्स गिवन सो यू विल राइट फोर प्रोबेबिलिटीज लाइक दिस पी वन एल जेड फॉर वन लाइक फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेट प्लस पी टू clear and then lz for 2 then plus p3 lz for 3 so we need to calculate all these things so that we can calculate the average value of this lz clear plus p4 lz of 4 clear guys so people who are new don't know how to write this guys whenever anything will be asked it will be like here so suppose if it was l square if it was l square so instead of lz it would have been like this l square like this Uh, l1 square plus p2 uh, l2 square like this l2 square plus p3 l3 square plus p4 l4 square clear so that will be the case l l that would be l i'm sorry so yeah that is for second state for 3 square for 4 square clear so you will write it like that clear but now in this question only this thing is asked that how to calculate lz so we will do for this one only clear so we will calculate each value this p1 p2 p3 p4 and lz1 lz2 lz3 and lz4 clear so now let's see how to calculate p1 so p1 should be corresponding to first state which is this clear so p1 would be p200 like prob uh, probability of finding the particle in this state like 200 clear so i told you that the probability formula is c1 square probability formula if you are finding p1 that would be c1 square so what is c1 that is 1 It's clear uh, so that was 1 earlier but don't take this one take this one now now this is c1 clear now this is c2 your new c1 new c2 this c3 and this is c4 clear so you will write probability according to c1 square that would be 1 by 16 guys if you take probability according to this last old way function you can see the answer would be 1 but here the answer is 1 by 16 so can you see guys how uh, how answer can be changed by just uh, varying these wave function clear so don't do such type of mistake take only this wave function so you will get 1 by root 16 clear let me just clear this mess first because i have literally created mess. so we have so now now go for this one p210 clear that is second state that is second you this is c1 new the new c1 new c2 new c3 and new c4 clear so now calculate for this for second state which is psi 210 so i will write probability corresponding to 210 and you know that is equal to c2 square and what is c2 that is 2 by root 16 so when you will put 2 by root 16 square that will become 2 by 16 clear uh, 4 by 16 clear so that will become 1 by 4 clear so now let's see let's see for another one so p3 you know p3 correspond to third state which is corresponding to this 211 so i will write p211 clear this p211 so i will write c3 square so c3 square is root 2 by 16 so i will take it square and my answer will be coming 1 by 8 so let's find for the Uh, last stage last uh, state which is psi 2 1 minus 1 so probability corresponding to this state which is p 2 1 minus 1 that would be c 4 square which is 3 by root 16 square which will become 9 by 16 clear so i got all this value p 1 p 2 p 3 p 4 so the only uh, values which are left to calculate which uh, they are l z 1 l z 2 l z 3 and l z 4 clear So now let's uh, let me first tell you that what is the formula of LZ that is MH cut that is MH cut guys this value is very important this formula is very important so always remember this formula clear so this is L LZ is equal to MH cut clear so this LZ corresponding to this psi two zero zero LZ corresponding to this psi two zero zero that would be so if I for for the first state obviously I'll calculate for first state you can see over here I have to calculate for first state for second state for third state and for fourth state so if I need to calculate LZ for first state that would be LZ psi two zero zero and the formula would be C, uh, MH cut clear formula will be MH cut so guys can you please tell me where, what is M in this value so in starting only I told you the first value is N. 
the second value is l and the third value represent m so you can see from here the m value is 0 so 0 into h cut will be 0 only because it is the third value is m only guys so third value is m clear so the third value is 0 so i will write 0 into h cut so i will get 0 clear so now let's find for second state so second state is this one 210 clear so i will write lz for psi 210 so now what i'll get again m value is 0 because i told you the last value is m so again it is m h cut and m is 0 and it will become 0 into h cut that would be 0 clear guys so now let's solve for uh, let's solve for third state so third state is psi 211 clear psi 211 is there so when i'll calculate this lz psi 211 so what i'll get mh cut now m is 1 now m is 1 because i told you the third one is m because psi is represented like this n l m so third value is m clear so this is uh, m clear so which is 1 so i will write m h cut m h cut is you you can see m is 1 clear so i will write 1 h cut clear so now let's see for the last stage which is psi 2 1 minus 1 so here m is minus 1 so i will write m h cut as minus 1 h uh, minus 1 h cut clear so this expectation value will be so now let's put every value which i have calculated from probabilities from lz value into this formula so i'll get the uh, final value of expectation value of lz clear so the expectation value of lz would be this into this so guys tell me this one so you know that this lz1 and lz2 are zero can you see lz1 and lz2 are zero so if it is zero if it is zero so multiplication with anything would be zero so this term will also be zero this term will also be zero because you need to you need to multiply this with this p1 with lz1 but lz1 is zero so this will become zero this will become 0. Again, in second case also the LZ2 is 0. So anything probability, whatever is probability, P2 is there. So multiplication with 0, that will be 0. So the only contribution will be from this, this term and this term. Clear? So let's write P3. So P3 is this one, which is 1 by 8. So I will write 1 by 8 into h cut 1 by 8 or 2 by 16 you can see from here if i write over head it will become 2 by 16 clear i can write 1 by 8 like this 2 by 16 so when i'll multiply this uh, 2 by 16 into h cut so it will be 2 by 16 h cut and then when i'll be multiplying plus okay plus is there so p4 into lz4 is there so what is p4 that is 9 by 16 so i will write 9 by 16 into minus 1 h cut is there so i will apply minus over here because plus minus will be minus so that would be 9 by 16 into h cut so when i'll be solving it i'll get this value which is minus 7 by 16 h cut so that is our expectation value of lz so guys i hope this thing is clear to you this example was very important clear so you can see many you can see these type of question in your exam because uh, uh, these questions are very very important guys so please please if you have any doubt feel free to use the comment section clear write any even if you have like even if you don't know what is this psi i can tell you that please don't hesitate i never judge anyone clear so please please feel free uh, to message in the comment section if you have any doubt i'll try to clarify that doubt clear i always read your comments clear guys so just go through this concept so i'm done with this concept also you can follow me on other social media platform i'm on um, very much active on instagram so you can uh, follow me on instagram so link will be somewhere here clear so guys that's it for today in the next videos we are going to discuss questions only based on this superposition principle clear guys so i'll see all of you in the next one until then, bye and keep smiling. Clear?